Hello everybody, this is Xenokinetic 2543 welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Who is the guest outside? Sorry about ending it off in the middle of cutscenes, you know, this disc has a lot of cutscenes, so we're going to be ending off in the middle of cutscenes sometimes, but that's okay. Just because that's how it has to be. Oh, well, we're going to go find out who the guest is. I thought we wouldn't have control. It's fine. Well, it's a Shavad emissary, apparently. Hey! We've got problems! Today, a peace settlement between Ave and Kislev is being held at Javat. But, Solaris mobile weapons are importing Javat as we speak! Please, help us! That has nothing to do with this young man. Tora! Tora! You're getting on my nerves for being so selfish. Satan told me about you. You showed up after finding out that it is now controllable. Aren't you ashamed? You have changed since then. You only care about yourselves. Hey, you don't need to listen to these guys who tried to try to kill you. But... Please go. I'll go to the mass driver. Ellie? No matter what happened before, Shabbat needs your help now. Although you may be saving some selfish people, there is still the world and its countries with many more innocent people. Please, don't forget that. Bart and his people are fighting to protect those same lives, aren't they? So please, go help them. Are you sure? What about you? Don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. But, all by yourself? I will accompany Ellie. You do not need to worry. I have brought along my own Omni Gear. Where did you get this, Satan? Excuse me? Like, I can see Ellie getting the Omni Gear in Shabbat. Bert, we got his Omni Gear. Satan, how did you get an Omni Gear? I do not understand. Your own Omni Gear? Yes, my Omni Gear. Fenrir. It is the same one I brought from Solaris. Oh, okay. I left it with Gaspar in case of emergencies. Doc. Alright. Please take care of her for me. So Satan just took the Omni Gear from Solaris. Okay. Sure. We'll go with that. Ellie? Ellie? Be careful. I will. We are truly grateful for your kindness, Faye. <laughs> Suit yourselves. Ignis, right? Yes. The goal of the enemy is to destroy the cities in Ignis. They've already destroyed half of Bledevik and will probably reach Nissan in about four hours. Well, so much for Bledevik. Shavat will try to drive them back with all the power it has. Four hours? That's cutting it close. Please tell me it won't take four hours to get to this boss battle. No need to there. No need to worry. Dr. Zell and I fixed your gear with the nanomachines. It's much more powerful than it ever was before. Why, you should get there in half the time. What? Is old man Bal here? Emeralda is here as well. Wonderful. We need Emeralda. I like Emeralda. Wow. Welltall is chunky now.
Like, look at this chunk. This is incredible! What will be more incredible is if I remember Bao Old Man Bao's voice from however long ago. Oh, we meet again! The host for the spirit of the Slayer of God. I didn't think I would ever work on it again. But why are you both helping me? There are some things you just can't explain the word fate. You're just going to have to see it with your own eyes. Bing! Going? Going? Yeah, I'd better hurry. Hey! Where are you going? Fee, please hurry! Uh, alright. Wow, you can see the tops of the trees in the scene. Wonderfully done. It's fine. They were on a but they went over budget on the first disc and didn't have the budget to do the second disc the way they wanted. So, this is what we got. Are you sure you want to go through with this? You wanted to live quietly away from the battlefield, did you not? I noticed myself running away from reality. At first, I thought my sim situation was similar to his. I thought Faye would understand my feelings. I didn't know if my love for him was real. I might have been desperate after losing my mother and father. Ellie. Despite all that, I may still love him. That's why I want to see what Faye can do and what I can do. I want us to be apart and think about ourselves again. I want to see how I really feel. Hmm. You have changed a lot, Ellie. What happened to you in the past three weeks? It's been three weeks? Okay. That's a reasonable amount of time for them to be healing. But still, jeez. It's been a while since disc one. That also explains how Satan was able to have time to get his on again. Really? I don't think I've changed. Yes, you have. I should say, you have matured. Like a mother. I mean, that's what happens when you watch both of your parents die in front of you. Excuse me, I'm only 18 years old. Okay. Just keep this in mind, Ellie is legal. But very young. But still you. I'm nowhere near the age of being your mother. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you gave me that impression. That is all. Anyway, Satan, I'm going now. Alright. I will follow you as soon as I finish off here. I go to... What? I go! I go... Emeralda, I can't take anyone else along with me for something like this. I'll be fine on my own. If Ellie go, I go too! Emeralda, I have to go with you! Emeralda? Go too. Why not let her go? I'm sure Solaris has a hunch about the limiter. They may interfere, 
So, you may feel uneasy going on it alone. I think Emeralda is cut out for this job. Um, she's a literal child. I mean, not a human child. She's a nanomachine colony, but, like, she's still a child. Besides, Fee is going to want to go no matter what. Take care of her until I can join you, please. I mean, I guess we can't really stop her. Okay, you win. Let's help each other, alright? I can do it alone! You just watch! <sighs> oh, Emeralda. I love Emeralda. Not in a romantic way, just in like, she's so cute. Uh, what are you doing with the books? He looks like he's typing on the books. I thought so. So, you were the one who brought pain this girl to me. I realized it the minute I saw the two of them. Well, how could I help but notice? They looked the spitting image of you and her. Yes. Just as you yourselves looked way back then. Oh. Hey, God. Alright, I can. I. It's. Yeah, it's confirmed. Groff is Lakan. Just older. Oh, hey, these idiots are still around. What do you mean? He's still alive. Yes. Ridiculous. Didn't Ramses shoot him down? She was also on the gear that Ramses shot down. I won't have her die. But there is already a mother. Although she may be the anti-type, as long as the current mother exists. As far as I see it, that is not complete. Quite picky, aren't you? Didn't you say you threw away all human emotions? I don't care what you think. Anyway, as far as he is concerned, I will put Ramses onto him. Any objections? Where is he presently? Atronach is destroyed, but part of the memory cube is still active. We should still be able to locate individuals. Great. So they can tell where we are whenever we save. Wait a moment. He has left the crash site and is heading toward Ignis. I see. So he has left the area. That means it is only a matter of time before the seal is broken. Did you say something? It's nothing. I just sit there and wait for the good news. What about retrieving the girl? The key is already beginning to resonate. The time of the resurrection is near. We can get the girl any time. It doesn't have to be now. Let's take our time. And it's boss time, I think. Maybe. On my way to Ignis, I re-encountered him. Karun Ramses. Ramses once again stood in my way. In his Omnigear. Vendetta. It was an unavoidable battle. I released a new function that was added to my Mark II gear. System Id. Oh no! Our attack level, by the way, is infinity. So we can do... That's not what I want to do. Go Kosho X is not what I meant to do. He dodged, which is so rude.
Um. He's dodging everything. That's so rude. Like, excuse me? Why are you dodging everything? There we go. That's what we wanted to do. That's 5,000 damage. That's well over a third of this guy's health. I don't feel that like I'm in danger anymore. Yeah, system it wears off after three turns, so we have to reactivate it. But it's worth doing. No. Another five thousand damage. It's like, why not do it? It's so overpowering. Like, if I'm, if I'm, it's like, basically, here's what you do in boss battles. And as long as I hit him one more time, he's dead. Might try the triangle attack. Because he has less, he should have just over 2,000 HP left, so... Yeah, he's dead. Ramses' absolute confidence was shattered, leaving only his cry of disbelief and resentment. Ramses' machine disappeared into a sea of foliage. Why he was so fixated on me? I know not why, but he did say this. If only you didn't exist. It is weird to have characters narrating the, uh, the game as we're playing it. But... That. In order to disperse the nanomachines, Emeralda and I headed for one of the ruins of the Zebuim civilization, the mass driver facility. Fortunately, the facility was still active, which allowed us to proceed on to the central control room with little difficulty. We didn't see this in disc one. Like, where is this? I want to know. Along the way, we saw various missiles and giant rockets that were created in, during the Zeppelin era. Yeah. Gosh, it's like... Like, this is cool. I want to play this, though. I wish this had been a dungeon, you know? They stood like tombstones of that ancient civilization. It was a graveyard for a race of people who destroyed each other over pride and arrogance. Once arriving at the central control room, we met up with Satan, who helped us activate the mass driver. We succeeded in launching the capsule which contained the mana machines which would release the seal, Limiter. Don't cut the music short. We have cutscenes. I have never seen this continent before in my life. So I have no idea where this is in the world. But hey, we released the nano machines. That's supposed to be a good thing, right? There's the Ethos headquarters. Oh, I guess it could have been in that northwest corner. What's this? I think this is... Oh, the orphanage. No. That's Lehan? That's Lehan. There's the orphanage.
Why would they show Leihan? We haven't been there since like part three or four, maybe. There's Nissan. And he got burned down. I only recognized that because I saw Satin's, Satan's house up on the mountain. Machines that were scattered into the upper atmosphere began to multiply and spread throughout the whole world of the world. The nanomachines glittered in the sunlight, flowing like a large river in the sky. That glitter would remove the bonds restraining everyone. It was to be our light of hope for regaining back our true freedom. Solaris's mobile surface supremacy weapon invaded the area with great force. Shavad and Nissan's standard gear battalions were no match against it. Oh, this is Faye. Solaris's mobile weapon supremacy weapon, mobile surface weapon supremacy weapon, invaded the area with great force. Shavad and Nissan's standard gear battalions were no match against it. It was only a matter of time before the Solaris mobile weapon arrived in Nissan. After we pushed back the Solarian gear units, we headed for Nortun, to the Kislev capital's administrative district. We went there to obtain our one and only means of standing up against the mobile weapon. Save current data? Yeah. And we will be taking on this... ...boss, I think? I assume... ...next time. This could do it for this part of the news. If you enjoyed. I will see you then.